so essentially what happened around five and five o'clock in the afternoon i had to come back from uh my daily businesses and you know i had to come into my room and uh you know plug my stuff in ready to charge for tomorrow you know as casual average everyday stuff and yeah so i'd wander outside i was texting someone this is where it starts i hear shouting from upstairs so i sprint upstairs as fast as i can it's unusually hot inside my room so it's unusually hot uh well not inside my room but in the hallway upstairs it's particularly hot and i i didn't know what was going on i obviously i'm not gonna jump to fire straight away um there was no smoke i couldn't see any smoke yet uh until i opened my door so i opened my door to see if it was what was going on and if it was manageable if i could put out and all i could see was void with veins of like pulsing embers in in it was just void with with veins of embers <laughs> but um yeah uh so in that moment so when i opened the door my arm got slightly uh burnt <laughs> not too bad you know no one was properly hurt this was just you know overheated like just lights it just stung nothing nothing too bad didn't need to go anywhere but um i just grabbed my brothers my uh, my two young brothers and i made it out my stepdad got out as well and the fire alarm didn't seem to go off um <laughs> somehow the heat from the hallway had melted the fire alarm without the fire getting to it and it didn't go off so i don't know what happened with that but that's clearly not the intended thing so yeah i was in a mad panic i was completely panicked like most people would be so i'm once we're outside i sprinted around to the neighbor's house she had a, she just had a like a newborn child at the time so i made sure they're getting out but at the same time in a mad dash i was like i called the firemen and they were like coming and that and they were there very fast it must have been like five minutes um to my house is connected to the neighbors so the fire was from my room so once the firemen got there they put it out with pretty like pretty swiftly and uh they had a fan inside to get rid of the, the smoke and the smell and things like that and uh they eventually let us go back inside so this whole time i was my mind was flicking all over the place i didn't know what happened i didn't know like how this happened was it my fault i was like what happened so um yeah no i was i was i was a mess at this point but once i made my way in my room so they they, they let us go back in and a uh, farmer said can you can like, is there anything you can salvage and uh i picked up my guitar uh and i was like oh it just needs a bit of tuning mate and um <clears throat> i picked it up and it just kind of fell apart on my hand because it was uh ash so uh caught them by surprise with a a quick-witted in the moment joke <laughs> to deal because that's just how i deal with stuff i, I would have said like um yeah that's just how i deal with stuff and this, the reason for the skull is um i also grabbed this as well is i don't know why there wasn't much you can salvage but the skull is decorative purely only and it kind of just looked cooler having been in that um i got my board it was in a different room actually but uh yeah uh mm. so even though the fire only burnt a lot for me it was quite a lot the fire burnt a lot my room was completely like gone my clothes my school like my schooling my studying stuff my stuff like the things i used to study like revision and things like that because i'm just about to come up to my exams at that time this is this is a little bit ago now but it was fairly recent like it's, the, the stuff is still going on ongoing and um at this point uh yeah i just didn't know what was going on so i was scared of the unknown that's pretty 
I didn't know what was going to happen next. I didn't know where we were going to go with that. I didn't know how I was going to live. I didn't know where everyone else was going to live. And, uh, yeah, so it's just all around horrible experience. Um, wouldn't recommend. Um, <laughs> personally, I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, uh, hmm. luckily, my I have another room at my other parents' house. So I've moved here and yeah i moved here and my family moved into a hotel temporarily i spent a few nights with them but when they moved into their new house i didn't i haven't really seen them like all that much because um the whole situation with them is not uh, it was never i was not close i was not like it <laughs> I don't really want to like dwell on this fact in particular because none of it is like an issue for me now but I never yeah I mean the, I was gonna move at some point out of there anyway but um <laughs> I wouldn't have done it with a fire if I had to choose um but they moved into a rental and that was paid for with insurance and then the house began its new build and I moved to my dad's and I think there's a lot of sleepless nights that was definitely a thing I mean I don't sleep very well anyway but um yeah there was a lot of sleepless nights to start with and I didn't think it affected me at the time I didn't think the actual fire affected me at the time but it did it did it did take a mental toll that I didn't really understand that it did so I, I would play it off I was like oh, no it doesn't affect me it doesn't affect me and I didn't think it affected me but it did affect me but um but then that became more clear over like a time it's been quite a while well I mean not quite a while but it's been long enough now that I do can reflect on that that I yes I did have issue with it <laughs> obviously <laughs> but um yeah for my exams I got a plus five percent for trauma uh, which is true, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, and then the insurance paid out, which was a little bit after, in, when I saw that money, I don't know when it came through originally, um, but yes, so I could replace my stuff, but in the meantime, family and, and my mates said, like, well, my family had given me money for clothes, some of my mates gave me clothes and other, like, things I needed, like that. So they kind of helped me through that. And, um, yeah, I mean, I did deal with it. <laughs> uh, yeah. <sighs> it's just crazy because my life before was, com was completely different. It was completely different. In a cru so it was in a crucial stage in my life because I'm younger, obviously, where things change anyway, but... I, the environment around me changed completely, so where, like, because I moved to, well, I didn't move, but I moved to a different house, so I got all new surroundings, I was with them rather than my, like, my mum and that side, that, and my brothers, so and I still, I still am not with them, and I, just, I also changed where I was studying, and things like that, I moved on to different things, and therefore, so all my mates had changed, basically, well, most of them, so I had less contact with them, and so everything around me had completely changed, so it wasn't like a, uh, like a little change when you change to a different, like, place, or anything like that, you know, it was everything, I didn't have any of the same stuff, I didn't have any of the, um, sort of, same people around me in the same way, for a long period of time, and it was all, all while doing my exams as well, on top of that, which was quite, like, intensive on top of what I was already dealing with. And then, uh, so <laughs> I skated quite a lot. I mean, I think that kind of helped. It being outside, ex it's great exercise, great community. Get to see more, like, more of my mates and things like that. Uh, you probably tell with the skater here. 
But, um, yeah. So... <sighs> I'm fine now, though. <laughs> yeah, I mean, when people say that normally, it's fine. But, um, yeah, no, I mean, it's been a while. It's been a long time since it did happen. But, um, I thought I'd go over it, you know? Uh, with the house, I think my, my, that side of the, like, the family, I think they are ready to move back into the house right now. It's just been completely rebuilt and, uh, redone. Because everything was carcinogenic, so it was all chemicals that you can't breathe in. So now that everything's redone, they're ready to move back into the house. And, uh, yeah, I just thought it'd be interesting to, you know, explain what happened. And, uh. So yeah, I, I hope you, you found it somewhat interesting. Um, well, that's what happens when your house burns down. <laughs> in my case, in particular. And uh, I just think a lot of stuff has happened. Not even just to do with the fire, but I think just a lot of stuff has happened. And I thought, you know, I'd just go through some of it. I thought somebody, might, somebody out there might find it interesting. So, if you did, subscribe. If you didn't, okay. <laughs> you know, up to you. But just um safe.